A push to ban gas-powered leaf blowers is back on the City Commission agenda tonight in Birmingham. For many homeowners and landscapers, they are essential tools in the spring, summer, and fall. 7 News Detroit's Ruta Olsenida is hearing from people on both sides of the issue as the city decides the next step. The city of Birmingham discussing banning all gas powered leaf blowers in the city by 2026 for public health, for noise and environmental reasons. But some landscaping companies in the area are saying not so fast. Jason Gross has owned his landscaping company since 2006, and he relies on gas powered leaf blowers for big and small jobs in Birmingham and all across Oakland County. The Birmingham City Commission considered an ordinance to ban these gas powered blowers at a meeting Monday evening, but Jason says the ban is not that simple. The technology is not there to make these uh, ordinances right now. Maybe 10 years from now. He says the amount of batteries and money required to run electric leaf blowers for business like his own would just be too much. Dozens of batteries and in order to charge those batteries, probably a gas generator on our trucks or uh, we would not be able to do as much work as we do in Birmingham now. Birmingham resident Andrew Kwitnetsky has used an electric blower for a few years now and doesn't mind it. In fact, prefers it. For me, it's just easier. Overall, I just charge the battery and I just I have to get to it, right? I don't have to maintain it and like get it serviced at the start of each year. And that to me, that's just, it's really convenient and easy. But Jeff Jarvie with Triple J's Landscaping says it's a lot different for landscaping companies compared to residents. For residential, it's fine because a homeowner uses it maybe an hour and then they can plug it back in. But like a commercial business, I mean, they're going to be using it probably from 7 a.m. till five at night or longer. Birmingham is looking at Ann Arbor as a blueprint. They banned gas powered leaf blowers starting this year, but just last week had to amend it to allow city workers to use gas powered leaf blowers in certain circumstances like preparing natural areas for prescribed fires. It's kind of ironic how they made an exemption for city employees, but not the residents that lives within the community. At Monday night city commission meeting, members addressing the conflict that some have with the possible ban. Because the pushback in this was hard. And, you know, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I can't support this as written. Not at all. The board highlighting that Birmingham wants to lead the area in environmental sustainability, but saying they just can't make the decision right now and will continue discussions at later meetings. In Birmingham, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 News, Detroit.